Hi guys, this is Too Cute for Cancer, and as you can see, I'm not doing so good. Um, yeah, I caught a bug from my um, grandchildren. They got sick. My son got sick. Um, so yeah, I got it. I have a really bad headache, um, sore throat, fever, feel like the, a truck ran me over. Um, yeah, that's me. So, I'm so sorry. I just, this is it for this week. Uh, Friday, hopefully I'll be back up for Friendly Friday, and I will see you soon. All right, you guys? I'm so sorry. I hope you can hear this. The fans going in the background, and, uh. You know, one thought, though, before I let you all go is, um... When a cancer patient gets sick and they start getting a fever, especially if they've been doing treatments, um, it's a serious thing. You know, they say if your fever goes over 100 or 100.1 or whatever, run to the ER. Go there first because I guess you can, if you're doing chemo, you can go septic and your, your organs can shut down. And, you know, it's forever implanted in your mind that if I get a fever, ah, I could die. So, interestingly enough, I am not doing any chemo right now. And when I got my um, when I got my fever, instantly I was panicked. I was just like, "Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die!" But you know, then I stopped and I thought, well, "Wait a minute, my immune system is doing great right now. My labs are shining, and I'm not doing chemo." So I had to sit down and calm myself down a little bit. But then I realized that little things like that like you know the fever you know the the drilling in your mind that the fever is going to kill you and I'm just the little things it's like uh, flashbacks from itty bitty flashbacks from your treatments right just like special foods different scents uh, can't stand different different things like garlic right now uh, I ate it after one of my chemo days and I can't eat it again it's just like there's so many things that little things that pop up into our minds and they're carried with us after the fact after we've done chemo like the fever you know the panic um, 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 the food the taste of food uh, the hot flashes, wow, I'm telling you, they didn't go away right away, <laughs> so, mm, there's that, but, yeah, it just, there's just so many little things that, that stick with you after you've had treatment, and then, just like right now, getting sick, to me, I have to ask, am I cancer sick? Is the pain that I'm feeling in my body, is it from the bone pain? Or is it because I've got 101 temperature, you know? Um, sometimes I can't tell, to be honest with you, because even though I'm not sick sick sometimes, I do feel like a truck ran me over and um, because my bones ache so bad. So when I do get just regular people sick, sometimes it's hard to tell which, which it is. And sometimes I think, okay, um, maybe it's a little of this, a little of that. And sometimes it's both because when I do get sick like this time, my throat hurts really bad right now, so I'm going to stop soon. But when I get sick, my, um, my bones, my inflammation in my body obviously is up. So my bone pain starts hurting. So in addition to being regular sick, I have cancer sick. So that's where I'm at right now. And I just wanted to let you guys know I didn't forget about posting I'm just too freaking sick to do it. And I apologize for the bad sound that you guys might be hearing right now with the fan going in the background. But, um, all right. Well, I love you guys all, and I'm going to miss chatting with you this week. 
I'll try to keep I'll try to keep up on my um, on my messages. So, and yeah, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.